A restless mind is an impatient mind. Have you heard of this? Well, probably not because I just made it up. The key to everything is said to be patience, at least according to this guy. He said, and I quote, you get the chicken by hatching the egg, not by smashing it. Patience is our capacity to accept or tolerate, delay, difficulty or annoyance without getting angry or upset about it. I wonder who's free from all these. I had this weird restlessness within me, which I've been working on for quite some time now. Meditation calmed me a lot, but you know what? In my pursuit to understand my behavior, I realized that I'm extremely patient in few areas in my life and in others I'm not. Digging deeper into my behavior, this is what I found. I get impatient when I know I'm missing something important or hadn't expected it. Here's an example. If I'm driving and I'm in no hurry to get anywhere, I am the epitome of patience. I move aside and let people overtake me. I'm enjoying the music in the car. I'm letting people pass and I smile and wave at people when they let me pass. When I have to reach somewhere urgently and I have no time in hand, I'm a maniac on the road. Do you relate to this? Now can you imagine the outcome of both these scenarios? When I drive in patient, I keep the good mood and whatever it is that I'm headed to, the result will always be better. When I'm a maniac, I take the stress and frustration along with me and the results will obviously be different. The point I'm trying to make is that we often get confused about our ability to recognize how patient we are. There are certain areas where you have to be absolutely patient. If you're a parent, you know what I mean. But in some areas, your impatience can actually be a virtue. By the way, impatience is not a lack of patience. Impatience in psychology is defined as a particular mental and physical process that gets triggered under specific circumstances and which motivates specific kind of decisive action. And it's triggered when we have a goal and when we realize that it's gonna cost us much more than we expected it to be. So is impatience good for us? Well, it depends. It's good for you as long as you make it work for you. This is what you can do. First of all, you need to be aware of your triggers. What is triggering your impatience? And how is being impatient really helping you? This will help you figure out if your impatience is really poor time management or poor planning or even unrealistic expectations. Most of our impatience comes from our deep-rooted sense of entitlement. Self-awareness helps you control it better. It gives you the power to make informed decisions. Once you know the triggers, you can decide whether you want to change them or whether you want to continue with the status quo. If your answer is yes, you want to change them, then you can move ahead and create thinking zones. We achieve great things when we know we are in control of our thoughts and feelings. A thinking zone is a time in your day that you will dedicate to your thoughts without any disturbance or influence. This means no phone, no TV and no distraction whatsoever. It's just you and your thoughts. You are just by yourself listening to your thoughts and what they have to say. And maybe if you have too many of them, you can use a book to write them down. My thinking zone is early morning post my meditation. I take 10 minutes out and do nothing. Just trying to be still and listening to my monkey mind and what it has to say. Every day I'm amazed with the range of thoughts I have. I'm also amazed with the clarity of thinking I get on them. And this fresh perspective on the thoughts that you have can help you make impatience as a motivator. Did you know that when you're impatient, you're persistent? And persistence will help you reach your goal, right? So why not use your impatience as a motivating tool? In order for you to do that, you need to channelize impatience into areas where you're procrastinating right now. Make a list of all those things that you're majorly procrastinating right now and then create deadlines to them. When you create or increase your sense of urgency in doing things, you will see that your impatience will rise with it. I'd like to end today with this quote. Genius is impatience in ideas and patience with the facts, a lively imagination and a calm judgment, rather like a liquid boiling in a cup that remains cold. And I think if you put your mind to it, it is possible. If you need help in increasing patience and tapping into your personal potential, do get in touch with me. My details are flashing on the screen right now. Are you a patient person or impatient? And how do you deal with it? Do let me know in the comment section below. Well, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself.